So we have this equation here, and we want to determine all these things. So finding the vertex is um, where the line of symmetry and where it's located, so negative b over 2a. So in this case, opposite of negative 6, so that's 6 over 2a, which is 2 times 9, which is 18, which ends up being 1 over 3. So we plug in 1 over 3, we get 1 over 9, so 9 times 1 over 9 minus 3 over 6, which is 2 plus 3, so ends up being what, 4? Yeah. That better just be safe. So, this ends up being 1 minus 2 plus 3, so that's negative 1 plus 3, which is 2. So, vertex is at negative, not negative, 1 third, comma 2. And so, um, axis of symmetry is at x equals one third, and y-intercept is going to be when x equals zero. When x equals zero, it's going to be um, zero comma three. You just plug in zero for x, and it's pretty easy to derive that from the equation. Um, x-intercepts. Uh, they don't exist, actually, because you get imaginaries out if you plug it into the quadratic equation. All right, so this is part A. Um, no x-intercepts. Okay. Um, part B, determine the domain. All right, I should probably graph this. So here's the graph. Oops. There you go. Um... So domain is negative infinity to infinity. Um, range is from 2, because we're including the y value. And this is actually bracket, because it includes 2, up to infinity. And C, determine if what's the thing increasing, decreasing. So it's decreasing from uh, negative infinity to 1 third. And then you don't include one third because it's neither increasing or decreasing there. And then it's increasing um, one third to infinity. All right, and that's it. That's how you solve that.